Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here again with the new deep dives for the new champions in March. And there has just been so much information in the past weekend. I've I've been trying to catch up, but this is the one video that I'm, I'm able to make, you know. I, I could have made like five videos, but might as well just like go. This is the majority of what I was going to go over is the deep dive because that's basically what I cover. Everything else just kind of happens like those sagas, sa sagas, whatever that is. It's uh, yeah, that, that new thing, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but I think this is one of the most important to me because this is this is fun. So with this deep dive, Mike is just explaining everything, but there's no audio because the reason why that is because I I already watched the deep dives and I thought that was going to be a good idea, but I realize now that wasn't a good idea. So next time I will record watching it the first time so that that way it's just it's just better. It, if I just I've already pre-watched it, so I know basically what this deep dive is about. But just going over it because I've already watched it. Starting with the destroyer, I was personally more excited for him because he just looks so perfect to so the MCU design uh, is like in the game. And um, there's just a, just to summarize his kit because there's so much and I can't like spew out everything that um, you know that he has in this kit. So he is immune to you know bleed, poison. And maybe I think power or no, not power, but that's the serpent. We'll get into him later. But he's immune to, of course, poison bleed. He is not a robot, though. He is a suit of armor, and that makes him, yeah, not like, like immune to low powers. But he is not a robot. Just, just know that. However, I think he's still metal, so Magneto could handle him. I haven't used Magneto in a while, though, so I don't know who's gonna really do that, but. Besides that, he has these destruction charges he gets from just doing various things, basically. And he has Unstoppable, which is, you know, it's when he attacks in and out. Very cool. And another thing he has is his power gain, his Furies. So he'll get a ton of power from, I believe, a special three or reaching a, upon reaching 100 destruction charges. There's just a lot in his kit. However, I am still more excited for the Destroyer, so we'll get into... I mean, not the Destroyer, the Serpent. Um, got a little confused there, my bad. They're, we're talking about the Destroyer right now, so I'm more excited for the Serpent. So I'll get into that, but the Destroyer is more simple. He um, acts like a mystic in some ways, but he looks more like a cosmic, so... I guess I didn't want two cosmics in one month, but maybe he is kind of more of a mystic character. I don't know. I would say he's cosmic, but that's too bad because he's not now. Um, however, that doesn't really, you know, doesn't matter too much. Mystic is always cool. I'm glad mystic is getting more of a boost now. And this dude can stagger or not stagger. He just destroys indestructible buffs and immortality buffs. So. Yeah, there's no no more Herc, no more um, whoever it is, there's no more Hulkling, uh, Indestructible, there's no more maybe Clairvoyant, I don't know if that really works with her death immunity, but he, um, yeah, he works for various situations, he's, he's like, I don't really know of a specific matchup that he would go crazy against with like Absorbing Man and let's say Terax, but this guy is, he'll work for his most cosmic matchups. I just can't think of a specific one he'd really work for. His special three, I would say, is his source of ramping, maybe? Because you want to get into structure charges, but look, he has Energize, there's a D-Gen, and you want to use that D-Gen to, well, Mike will say, in the rotation in a second, but you want to use that D-Gen to increase your special two damage, so that's only from the special three, you know, whole whole ass rotation. Um, this is awesome, my bad. So his awakened ability, there's a lot to go over. He's like Korg, and I, and uh, I got two my actually. He'll deal damage back to you, 40% of it in rupture, just instant ruptures, which is very not nice. As you can see, um, this Odin's getting ruptured to death. Um, not very nice. 
But you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, Scorpion, he'll work. That's all I can think about right now. But he looks very promising. And let's get into this rotation here in a second. Right now. So he built structure charges, and now I'm talking over my butt. By intercepting the opponent, this was a, go on, this went over on the stream. You'll also gain charges. He does a lot with buffs, you know, gains his charges. Your special one to gain even more charges. Very nice, getting like a lot of charges from special one. And once you reach one the power gain, you'll gain a power. Yep, four bars of power. Four bars of power. From here, use your special three to inflict your. And yeah, go passes. for the special then, two. Let your power gain continue and Very launch neat. a monstrous special two. And if the opponent isn't already knocked out, take advantage of your energy yep, again and again and again, again until they are. Now, in a shorter fight, build your charges in the same way, and don't forget. You can destroy any indestructible buffs on the opponent. Very useful, actually. So just keep this rolling until you reach 100 charges. But this time, just launch your special yeah, two you can do it again. before reaching special three. They're unblockable. And remember, the final three hits are unblockable. So, don't be afraid. So that was very it. neat. That was the deep dive for the destroyer. I'm going to do that thing so I can kind of talk over while going over the rotation. And overall, just really quick, because we're in the serpent um, deep dive now. The destroyer is pretty cool. Um, of course, want to get my hands to both of these guys. And I think, however, this guy right here, the serpent, is way more crazier. So let's get into that right now. Starting off, he has a whole... He has a, a book of immunities. I mean, like, he has to do with... Let's see. You can see his ability, power rate, whatever. Heal, block, special lock, power lock, power steal, probably... I didn't even read all of it, but yeah. Fate Seal, no more long shot, so he's just he's just all over the place, bro. I don't even know what to tell you. He um yeah, there's not no not really wither, not really armor breaking him. You're not really bleeding him. You're not really I don't think you're really poisoning him either. Poisoning him. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's poison. Uh maybe maybe it's something else. I might have forget. Maybe it's no, I think it might be poison. If it's not, then it's just bleed. Um, the d damaging debuff. So, he also takes less power burn, less power steal, and just he just is uh, immune to all the things that, let's say, someone like Doctor Doom would do. So, I'm pretty sure it is though, because there's power leech, power burn, power steal. There's so many power abilities that you could be immune to. So, he pretty much he has like most of them. He pretty much has all of them, you could say. And for his main kit, he gains Dread, and he gains this Persistent Charge, like he gains this through Persistent Charges and also in the match. So, you can gain three Persistent Charges, which I'm pretty sure you would start every fight with three um, Dread Charges starting off. Or if not, the three Dread Charges and the three Persistent Charges, they, um, they just like while you're questing, so that's nice. But he also gains his dread charges when he does a whole bunch of stuff, like he loses a personal buff, when he, um, like, I, when he, maybe when he, like, yeah, when he gets staggered, or tries to get like, nullified, or if the opponent dashes back during the special attacks, he just has so many ways to gain his charges in the matchup. So, that's very nice, and he also comes with damage, he comes with survivability, he has the utility, and he's got the luck, so it all works out well for him. But he can gain up to like 16 or 14, probably like 16 of uh, those dread. They're not dread charge, but we can gain 16 of those charges. And this is unique. In Battlegrounds, he starts off with four of the... I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's cold, cold Force charges, that's what they're called. So that's very unique, um, yeah, to the Cold Force. So. That's very, very unique for like battlegrounds. No other champion has that. And he gains a whole bunch of stuff when he gains like eight charges till 12 charges. Does burst damage when they fail to evade and miss. And then also he got the pierce buff at eight charges that does energy damage to the block. And then he gains an inexorable, an inexorable um, passive, which is new whenever he gains a charge, which makes it so that he can't get moved or like hit backwards. 
when he's blocking. But if he gets hit with a special attack while he has it, it removes the buff. Which, you know, um, you're not gonna you don't really want to get hit at all, but if you do, this is a nice safety net to be very aggressive still. So I like that a lot. And when he has 16 chargers, if you try to gain any more other above 16, he starts gaining those passive furies, which just increases damage. And you can um I'm pretty sure I don't think you can pause or refresh them. But you can ramp him very nicely if you're in a long fight. So you want to use him in a... You can really much use him in any fight. I would say a medium to long health pool. I actually say, from what I've watched so far, yeah, medium to long health pool. Because, you know, you're not going to be able to get the absolute most in a short fight. Like that one right there. But, I mean, you can get some, you can get some cool damage off you're just not gonna see his like potential he has all this power gain he has the fear he stops evade and all this stuff you're not really gonna be able to see all of it in a really short fight so i mean you're gonna see most you're gonna see a lot of it but he will just he'll he'll rinse in longer fights even though the damage isn't it's not gonna be like geese in 2099 it's gonna it's gonna he's gonna do well in it and also as a defender um first hit of special attacks unblockable then you can't tax his special attacks so he's like photon by cosmic which is just uh beautiful we love to see that of course so i'm gonna love to fight against it um you just i think what you have to do there we have to figure it out but i would say dodge the first hit of the special attack and then block the rest of it so he's not unblockable and then you don't get hit that i don't know that's just a just a theory it's special three though cool looks very cool gains this passive this hour of the all father it increases like personal furies and doubles your charges and also he refreshes his furies or he gains new furies and by the way if he doesn't do any damage on special three if it they like have indestructible or something during it, he gains two bars of power afterwards. So if he does literally no damage during a special three, then he'll gain power, which is very cool. And his immortal resilience awakened ability makes him able to well he can he can go immortal, which we'll get into. And he gains stun immunity during this defender's special attack, which is nice. Also He's able to gain a death immunity buff for up to 8 seconds. He gains health back and he gains power while it's active. Also, it can't be nullified or staggered. I think that is that is the wildest part of it. You can't nullify or stagger it. But we're going to get into the rotation right now and see how he really works in an ideal matchup. To begin, strike the opponent and push them back towards the wall. Unless the opponent so yeah, you're gonna want to gain your charges that way. Use your special one. If possible, and the cold snap, a special one. And delay slightly before launching the special to encourage the opponent to block, increasing your burst. Yep. Keep it That's mind, a very good tip right there. Your passive will make it easier to keep the opponent near their corner. And and he's gonna destroy Mysterio, by the way. From he will destroy Mysterio. For countering miss and evade. From here, yep, not just nothing. keep launching your special one and building just your dead. charges, watching your damage ramp as the fight goes on. So much utility. Now, if you're fighting an opponent with a lot of armor, you might want to yeah, go for Warlock, special twos instead. Like Sentinel. That way, you could take advantage of the increased burst multiplied by the opponent's armor rating. Mm, Plus, 12, you'll gain more coal force Neat. charges and ramp that much faster. And Neat. if you take the serpent questing, you'll notice his persistent dread makes that fury buff feel a lot juicier. And hey, wow, like, yeah, in a longer 58K. fight, you could use your special three to gain your Hour of the Allfather passive, doubling your Cold Force charge and passive fury gain. Yeah, look at that damage. And opening the door to some huge yellow Ooh. numbers. The serpent About 15K. likes to play Ooh, the long 100K. game, so the longer the fight goes on, the more his opponent will be punished. That's the deep dive for the Serpent, and that was his ideal rotation. So yeah, out of these two champions, obviously, I'm going to say I'm more excited for the Serpent right here. He has some amazing utility. He has, he just has everything, bro. Um, 
I can't wait to try to get my hands on this guy in the future. And um, they're both going to be very cool to see how they get introduced to the game and how they were used. But that's it for this video. I'll see you guys soon. Of course, I'll see you guys soon. Of course, and have a good rest of your weekend.